Yes! stretch I thought the, the game was like watching paint dry uh, for about three quarters and then the fourth quarter it heated up and turned into a very exciting game for the fans uh, but I, you got to give all the credit to our players uh, you know their uh, you know togetherness their brotherhood their their uh, ability to, to to come back and make the big plays when we really needed them to um, but it's a, again it's a really it's a really good team victory. Today you guys kind of talk about um, just kind of what was what happened with some of the fourth quarter that the game kind of went as coach said from being a slow game to all of a sudden end to end and guys are scored and all that place. Uh, it's it's two great teams going against each other. Uh, up tempo game. We like to push the transition. We have a good up tempo game, but uh, we were able to finish the ball when we needed to. And they, they fortunately put the ball in the net also. But ground balls, a brotherhood effort. Just the team effort from the sidelines to the players to the goalie, it's, it was just a great feeling. And coming back and battling back like that proved something to this team. Ryan, talk about the defense, what they, you guys did today. Uh, defense, we just really uh, held them. Uh, we played a lot of defense there for a while. Uh, like Coach said, they're probably 70-30. Uh, we were not on offense uh, too much, but uh, our defense team unit, uh, we really just buckled down. and. Um, Played our, played our UMass way and uh, held them. Well, can you talk about, uh, you had a big day today, um, just, you know, what, what was happening out there when we were being able to get lost It's but ball movement. We, uh, we've been working on shooting, ball movement, working off two passes, and uh, working two-man game behind, just dodging, shooting, and we were able to find the net, and, uh, I mean, it's, a, it's a, just a group effort. I had two transition goals, two man, a man-up goal, and just, being able to put the ball in that, I've been practicing on shooting extra every day, and it's working out. So I'm just hoping to group effort continuing for the next two games. Um, do you guys, is anybody saying you feel like it's going to overtime? You know, to kind of, I don't give them a little push or anything heading to the extra period. Then, or do you guys kind of fall back nicely? So, no, I was just keep playing the same way you played the whole game. Talk about your goal in overtime there. Um. Well, the ball's getting worked around. Anthony Biscardi took a good shot from the wing, hit off the post, and there's a feed to uh, Art, and Art was going through. Stick got checked, ball came out, and I was just lucky enough to be there to uh, catch it out of the air and get a good shot on that. Were you kind of used that, that scrum in the middle there, on the screen, to toss it in? Uh, not really. I was just kind of just shooting it. <laughs> Talk about the emotion for your team to put that goal in for you. Uh, it's a great feeling. Um, I mean, we're at the point in our season where every game is a must win. And uh, to be down by two goals with a minute and a half left and uh, come back to put in overtime and then win in overtime is something special. And uh, I'm just glad it happened. Coach, can you talk about it? Just, uh, I guess, how, how important it is with you, know, you guys pretty much CAA games throughout but the rest of the way out here, how important it is to get these conference wins? And yeah, not only that, I mean, we've lost uh, three, goal, three games by one goal. You know, uh, the Harvard game was a two goal game, it was an empty netter at the end of the game. So it's really important for this team to be able to win one of those games uh, to move them forward. And, you know, obviously coming into April here, we looked at it last week at St. Joe's. We looked at it as a, as a five-game season, uh, and now we're down a three-game season. So um, again, it, you know, anytime you can gain some momentum or gain some confidence, whatever time of the year it is, and whatever sport you're coaching, uh, I think it's vital to how your team performs in practice and prepares in practice to move forward. Okay.